Today we're going to take a look at loading custom brushes and I like to refer to it as using the brush tool as a stencil because I'm going to just click the mouse once with this new custom brush and it will just put a um, stencil mark or a cookie cutter type of thing onto your design. So first things first is I'm going to get a cool photo here by Brooke onto my canvas. It has this X on it and the arrow, uh, the uh, dots in the corner that will allow you to resize it and things of that sort. It won't let you do Photoshop, that is. Photoshop won't let you do anything else until you say, oh, I'm done with that. So you have to hit that check mark and those go away. Now you can play around with other tools. I'm going to select the brush tool here. And when the brush tool is selected, you can look at the brushes and the brush settings. If that icon is not showing up, you can go up to Window and click on Brush Settings right there, and it should force it to come up. I'm going to go to the brushes and then click on those three or four little lines there, often referred to as pancakes, and go to Import Brushes. Click on Import Brushes, and then you have to select your brushes. Whatever you put your brushes that you downloaded, you need to find them. Let me hit cancel first and talk about that for a moment. So brush tools in Adobe, ABR files. You can download ABR files from just doing a Google search. If you do a Google search that says for download free Adobe brushes, you'll find all kinds of interesting things. Usually you can download a few 100% for free, but after about three or four downloads, some of the websites try to have you create an account. Some of the websites want you to create an account, but don't charge you. There's a variety of different things, but hopefully you can find something you like, or you can just use the ones that I provide for you. All right, back to loading those brushes. So you need to know where you have put yours. I put mine just on the desktop. I have a whole bunch of brush tools and brushes, custom brushes in here, and some holiday ones in here. So if you wanted to go ahead and load some of these, you just double click it and it should load them on here. There are some of them up there. I have some, wait one second here, let me go back to these folders and see some of these Hanukkah brushes I loaded, here we go. So there are some brushes in here, they show it um, they show it as a brush where you hold down the mouse and do a stroke, but you can't really see it very well. Um, somewhere in here you can change how that aspect looks, but um, I'm not going to worry about that at this moment. What I'm going to do here is I have multiple layers, background layer, I have the photo layer, and I'm going to create a new blank layer on top of that. I'm going to put my brush tool stamps or stencils on that. Choose your color over here. Choose your size. There's a nice menorah. And then maybe I want a snowflake. Let me close that so I can put some more over here. Maybe you don't want it so bright white. So what you can do, since I put it on a separate layer, this is why I put on a separate layer is you can change the opacity so you can make it semi-transparent so they get nicely fainted. So that works really well and what is cool about that is when the stencil goes over your um, your actual photo right here, like over the snowman, you can see the snowman through it when it's slightly opaque or slightly transparent. So that is an example of using custom brush, loading custom brush tools and then using those custom brush tools.